Hello guys, Keith Wise on TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into today's video, let's see if we can hit 100 likes. And as well, if you've um, been watching the videos the past 28 days and have been a blue, so make sure to smash that subscribe button. We just hit, um, well, a couple of hours ago, we hit um, 2,790. So let's get that up to 2.8k by tonight, and then we can, you know, start looking and start um, striving towards that 3k target. So yeah, make sure to drop us up to not miss out on any blues, transfer news, and any takeover news and um, other news as well regarding Birmingham City Football Club. So look, I broke my um, tri uh, tripod. Sorry. So um, yeah, I need to get a new one. So I'm, um, you know, it's kind of weird doing the video like this. I've got my phone stacked up against a load of DVDs. But yeah, getting on to today's video now. I'm not going to talk about any transfer news in today's video because there's not a lot to talk about but we're going to, we are going to be talking about this we're going to be talking about the season ticket sales so Birmingham City, uh, Birmingham City season ticket sales flying after Tom Wagner takeover of course um, this is um, the takeover um, from Tom Wagner has made um, a lot more fans um, purchase season tickets for the upcoming season. Birmingham City supporters have flocked to purchase season tickets after the takeover by American firm Knighthood. The club have confirmed that 10,000 season tickets have sold since they officially went on sale a month ago. Fans have been quick to snap, uh, snap them up after Tom Wagner completed his purchase of uh, a 45.64% controlling stake on Thursday. Of course, we've signed some really good players as well. Some of that obviously helps. And... Um, St Andrews will remain at a, redu a reduced capacity until November. Look, I'm just hoping that with the momentum we've got with the takeover, the atmosphere is going to be a lot, a lot better. Because you looked back, look back in the day. Back in the day, St Andrews was buzzing. It was absolutely rocking. Um, Sir Alex Ferguson, his words, it, it's, it was one of the most hostile uh, grounds. He visited. That's what Man uh, Manchester former Manchester United manager Sir Alex Ferguson said. Look, Saint Andrews has. To, it used to be a fortress, even in the Premier League. It used to be a fortress. I remember that one season where we not only lost two games, two home games, there, um, the whole entire season. Now, the atmosphere at Saint Andrews. If we can get the stadium packed and the stadium is fully open again, then the players strive on that. The players definitely strive on that. I think what. What's been difficult for the players and and the manager managers we've had really? I mean, the stadium's been half um, empty for three, about three and a half years now. So it's absolutely ridiculous. That has to be sorted out. And um, yeah, I do think an atmosphere. If we have a really good atmosphere for the full ninety minutes, that's obviously going to give the players that extra ten percent. Saint Andrews, like I said, has to be made a fortress if we want to compete in this league. The away form, that's just a bonus. I mean, obviously, you've got to have a good away record as well, but the home form, the home record is where it's at. And if we can get behind the lads for 90 minutes, game in, game out, obviously, I'm going to be going to the Leeds game, the first game of the um, Tom Wagner era, or the first home game, should I say. Um, so, yeah, I'm really excited for the new season. And um, I don't know how many season tickets were sold last season, um, I've tried to look, but I can't. Um, does anyone know? Let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, this is obviously um, some great, great news for uh, Birmingham City Football Club and for the fans as well. We need the stadium rocking 110% uh, next season. The players need us. And um, I'm hoping this new era brings, um, you know, a new sense of, um, you know, belief, a new... Um, you know, new hope basically. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments down below. It's been Keeper on TV. Make sure to like, share, and also subscribe to the channel. Let's see if we can get 100 likes. And uh, yeah, as I said, if you've been watching the uh, videos the past 28 days and our oh, blues, so make sure to smash that subscribe button. Only 10 off, 2.8k. Thanks for watching as always, guys. Keep right up.